right, it's Friday night, so let's go to church and watch the Book of Clarence. 346 minutes later. Hmm. Doctor Strange as White Jesus. I didn't see that coming. What's going on my YouTubers, subscribers? Hope you guys are having an amazing start to your Martin Luther King Day weekend because we got another brand new movie coming out and that is The Book of Clarence, newest biblical venture. Is it how accurate? I don't know. The new movie that came out on theaters this Friday along with The Beekeeper. I got to see it and is the movie good? This movie is entertaining, informative, deep. Ooh, I gotta say this movie, hmm, I had, best way I could put it, it got better the more it got going. It's very imaginative, and at the same time, it's really raw, but it's got those, like, you know, moral lessons that we learned in Sunday school and stuff like that. Power of belief, you gotta believe in him, him, hallelujah! Safe to say, this movie was, was a pretty solid, good movie for January. The only thing I could think about the whole time with the movie was wrapping up, was like, why does the movie come out in, like, closer to Easter? This would have been, like, the perfect, like, Easter movie, but Jan January? We're called. And with good protocols, I believe that the Book of Clarence, especially in theaters, it's in theaters now, actually. I think the movie's very well acted. Pretty easy plot to follow. Really deep themes, and it gets real raw at the end. Check it out. That's up your alley. Here we go. Adding the movie. The main person we're following, Clarence, is played by Lakeith Stanfield. Dude crushes it. Charisma, you know, d d he just brings everything to the table that I'm just like, you just, you just, d d he's got a golden globe. Yeah, he was a amazing actor and everything like that. The way he just conveys Clarence and the why he goes from like, yeah, I don't believe in, you know, the higher power or stuff like that to pretty much like in the movie, just like. Resurrection! That was just good shit. Matter of fact, the whole cast and entire movie, there are a lot of people in the movie are going to be like, you're in the movie? Awesome, good to see ya. Also, uh, James McAvoy, he's in the movie too, like a little bit towards the end, but even him, his like couple of minutes of screen time, he was really wildly entertaining, good too, I liked him. Also this dude, Omar Sly, I, I did not know, I, I feel like I see him in the movie before, but I don't know what it is. But when he came on screen, I was just like, oh, discount, discount it yourself, but good to see ya. Plot the movie more or less, okay, the movie is, if you know the Book of Clarence from the Bible, you know, I think, you'll be able to be like, okay, so now let's just see it live action played out. So for all of us who don't know what that is, more or less, it's just pretty much here's the short version. You got Clarence and his crew, stuff like that, they're a bunch of nobodies and they want to be somebody and they realize like, hey, there's this other guy performing all these miracles, stuff like that, miracle, walking on water, turning water to wine. We need to get like that. So more or less, they try to imitate the miracles that they're doing, then, you know, shenanigans ensue, and then it bad shit starts happening. Until the divine power that bees intervene, and then, yeah, you know, in the movie, crosses and nails and bad news. Now, it's the movie, approach the movie, like I said, I feel like the end of the movie, well, if I could talk about the end a little bit, it gets really raw, real group, like, well, I, I don't know, I, okay, confession, I've never seen The Passion of the Christ, so I can't really compare it to that, but I will say, like, when things were happening towards the end of the movie, when we get into the crucifixion and stuff like that, they didn't hold back, it wasn't real, like, raw emotion, raw, like, shit, I was like, mmm, Certain me. I was with somebody else and I was just like, you know, kind of comparing like, well, this is how they did it in the Bible, stuff like that. And it was kind of like, there are some historic liberties they kind of take here and there because I, I truly feel like maybe it's in the Bible, I don't know. But they was smoking and a lot of weed in this movie and the way they were doing it it was kind of just like it's kind of like a spike lee movie or something like i don't know if it was weed back in the movie was took place at what ad 33 so i don't know if weed in hookah bars stuff like that were a thing back in the roman empire if they were people know how to live i just can't get over like the acting and the cast of the movie the powerful performances that was really sold the whole thing so like i said it's a really well acted movie it is also entertaining in parts too because my man lakeith as clarence he's 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 a very human person i could say i'm just saying like you know we were shouting out the one line or stuff like that it didn't feel like ah Clarity and Marvel B material. At the end of the day, the Book of Clarence was a pretty entertaining and informative and very raw, grippy, good movie. I had a really good time with it. I feel like if you're looking for something that really hits you home, this movie for you, very well acted. The ending, oh my goodness, like I said, it was just like some powerful shit. I'm gonna go to church Sunday. Well, I can't go to church Sunday because I gotta work. But praise Jeebus. With that being said, I think I'll definitely say that the Book of Clarence is definitely a very good 8 out of 10, which definitely worth seeing at full admission. Clarence in theaters now. You're gonna see it. You're not gonna see it. Type below. Let me know. Talk about it. See you guys in the next video. And Christ be with you.
and we'll call it forever. And as always, subscribe. Until next time.